In this video, we will deploy Microsoft Sentinel, a cloud-native CM solution in Azure used to safeguard digital assets from cyber threats. By the end, you will have your very own monitoring solution with hundreds of detection rules already enabled. The best thing, it will cost you nothing. And I will show you how to do it just in a couple of minutes with a single click of the button right here. You will be moved to pre-configured R template provided by Microsoft. One more thing before we continue. You will need an active Azure subscription. If you don't have one yet, just head over to official Microsoft site and register for a free account. I will provide you with a link in the description. All right, let's go back to our deployment. As mentioned before, we are using ARM template. But what exactly is an ARM template? ARM stands for Azure Resource Manager, and it's more than just a deployment tool. It represents the concept of infrastructure as a code. In other words, it allows us to define and deploy our Azure resources in a declarative manner using JSON. By leveraging ARM templates, we can describe our desired infrastructure and configuration setting in a structured format. It streamlines the entire setup, making it quick and efficient. All we have to do is to provide few parameters and select our configuration. The first parameter is the location. This is very important because it determines the geographic region where your Sentinel instance will be deployed. If it's for your own demo, don't worry about it too much. Just select what's the closest to you. For the enterprise, on the other hand, keep in mind regulations applicable to your organization as you will store data inside Log Analytics workspace. I'm sure you already read some articles or heard stories about the potential consequences of non-compliance with data regulations. Additionally, location can also impact the cost. Some regions are just more expensive than others. Again, if it's for your own demo, don't worry about it. Because with Microsoft Sentinel, for the first month, you get 10 gigabit of data ingestion for free. That's right, you don't have to pay anything because Microsoft Sentinel is priced based on the total amount of data ingested and your data retention. To keep this in check, we will change daily ingestion limit in gigabits to 10 right over here. We can also define how long the data will be retained in your Sentinel workspace before it is automatically deleted. With Microsoft Sentinel, you get three months data retention for free. So we will leave retention days the same. Let's go back to the resource group. A resource group in Azure is a logical container that holds all the related resources for your Azure deployments. It's a good rule to select a meaningful name that reflects the purpose of your deployment. Moving on, we come to the workspace name. The workspace is a central hub where all the data collected and analyzed by Sentinel is stored. This will also represent your Microsoft Sentinel name. Therefore, select a descriptive and unique name for your deployment. And that's everything from this page. Let's move to the settings next. You have the option to enable user entity behavior analytics. It's just very long and fancy name for artificial intelligence. And I love AI. Why wouldn't we provide our data to it? Terminator, for example, was such a fantastic movie. So let's turn this functionality on for Azure Active Directory. And I will enable health diagnostics as well. This will give me insights into the overall system health, connectivity, and performance metrics. Now we can move to the next part, Content Hub Solutions. In the Content Hub Solutions section, we have multiple options to choose from. These solutions provide additional functionalities and detection capabilities within Microsoft Sentinel. Let's explore the available options. Firstly, we can install a variety of Microsoft provided content. As you can see, there are a lot of them. And for some, you will need to have a paid license. We are not going to worry about it too much. If you don't have the license, the deployment for this particular solution will fail, but other will succeed. So. We will select all just to keep it simple. Next, we can select essential solutions, which are crucial for protecting your environment against common attack techniques. Again, we will select all. Lastly, Microsoft has some training content prepared for users to learn functionalities of Microsoft Sentinel. 
It will ingest some data and create few incidents for you to investigate. We can install them too. Moving on to the data connectors next. These connectors serve as the gateway to collecting data from different sources into your Sentinel workspace. The same way as before, you can select multiple data sources from Microsoft solutions. To keep it simple, select all again. After that, a new option will pop out for Azure Active Directory log types. If we click on it, we can see that sign-in and audit logs are already selected. We don't have to change anything here. Sign-in logs are the most important one as they provide valuable information about user authentication and sign-in activities. Okay, we are almost finished, but there is one more crucial step we need to do before we wrap this up. Configuring analytics rules. This step is absolutely vital. Make sure to check this little box right here and pay attention to the severity levels because we want to select all of them. By checking the box, hundreds of templates for analytics rules within your resource group will be automatically enabled for you. And that's it, we are at the finish line. All you have to do is review and create Microsoft Sentinel solution. It will take 10, maybe 20 minutes to create. So take a break, pause the video, I will do as well, and we will continue once the deployment is finished. As you can see, the deployment has finished, but it seems that we have encountered a few conflicts along the way. Don't worry about it. This is expected and will be caused by the licensing problem. Actually, we can verify it right over here. Now for the most exciting part. Let's go to Microsoft Sentinel to see what we have created just in few minutes. Simply use the navigation bar at the top and search Microsoft Sentinel. Select your solution and here you go. You will immediately see Microsoft Sentinel dashboard. And look at that. We have already some incidents inside. Wait a bit, you don't have to worry about some hackers inside your environment. These incidents will be most likely caused by the solution that we have installed. Actually, let's go check them out. On the left bar, we can move to the incidents in the threat management section. You should see the same incidents as I have here. And if you see more, maybe there is a hacker inside your organization after all. One more thing before we close this up. I have promised you hundreds of detection rules to monitor threats. Let's see them in action. We will navigate to analytics in the configuration section. And look at that, 190 active rules right here. You are now actively monitoring for threats such as password sprays, unauthorized device in the network, and many, many more, as we have multiple pages in here. And all of this accomplished in just few minutes. That's incredible, isn't it? To start your Microsoft Sentinel journey, I will provide you with all the links in the description. And if you enjoyed the video, please leave it a like and subscribe for more content in the future.